Magoma was a renowned Tosa chief during South Africa's frontier wars in the 19th century. His tactics and approach on war led to the killing of senior British officer John Fordyce during the War of Mlanjeni. Despite this contribution, little is known about his legacy. If you look at the actual history of Magoma and the extraordinary impact he had, films would be written on him, books would be written, there would be a series of many things, places would be named after him. But however, because we are here in a struggle of memory against forgetfulness that has enveloped our country, he has diminished. He's the only leader, one, who defeated the British twice, Prince Malcolm. Two, he's the only leader who didn't fight battles. He fought wars. He didn't have much resources, but he was very innovative by rotating the fighting men. In the Mount of Mtonsi, what the British called Mount Misery, Malcolm was able to sustain that war. The memorial lecture was held at Mgaisha, a great place where Khakhabe Kingdom is situated. The kingdom has called for rural development in the name of Makoma. We need to work very hard in our day and age to make sure we not only preserve those, but we allow our rural communities to thrive. We allow our rural communities to be able to express themselves because what we have here is very unique and something that we can sell to the whole world. Additional resources are being sought for the recognition of more war fighters. The Premier has said he's going to engage the President so that at least we get more resources in terms of lifting all the traditional leaders or ringos that have participated in the nine wars of resistance that were fought for 100 years. This lecture is a build-up to the provincial celebrations of Heritage Day, which will be held in Lesitin on Sunday. Abongile Yankees, SABC News, Mm, that's a great place.